Hi hey guys, welcome. Today I've made a new ISO of Cairo. So the 11th of August is just one month ago from July the 11th. So probably release as a thought release every 11th of the month an ISO, right? Just so you can download and test it and see if that's something you can work with. Cairo is a personalized ISO with all the knowledge I had gathered the last eight years with Arconix, which is now discontinued. We gave you one last ISO, my personal view and ISO and choices, which is called Cairo, right? So you can download it. It's now online, it's here, or you can build it and you get exactly the same thing, right? But every month there are updates, kernels, and video packages, all kinds of things. And that's the difference between one ISO and the other. You can actually analyze it by downloading this one and that one and using the application Melt. And you know exactly what packages came along because of dependencies or gone because of dependencies or the versions that just are changing. So, well, I have the ISO, it's in my virtual machine already. All I have to do is build it, well, not build it, uh, install it. It's already installed, it's already tested on real metal as well. But let's uh, make one video just to show you again. Because there was a user who says, Eric, I would like to create a system D boot. This is by default system D boot, not grub. Right. So I've made my choices over the time, but this thing you see here is actually the boot screen from Arch, Arch ISO. So let's go into that again so I can show you again. Right. So that's the CD-ROM. That's Arch way of installing and it's a choice between the AMDs, the Intels or the NVIDIAs. And if in doubt, number three. Right. So in a virtual machine, you take the first uh, line there. So Cairo, yes, there's no choice between um, Grub or, or uh, System D or the other one, which I'm forgetting right now, right? It's still very much really defined to what I'd like to have. But if that coincides with what you want to have, right? And then you got yourself an ISO. We follow a little bit what's happening on Calamars, which is at this point in time, it's holiday, uh, it's not much. And then we go for the welcome, the next, very simple, no online things. Everything that's going online has the potential to crash, right? So I don't use it. And I'll use Arconix Nemesis scripts later on if I want something done. So stay offline is good advice. Then you, you're not dependent on servers and keys and whatever, right? So there we go. Uh, an offline installer, Cairo installer. is just the general tool Calamaris that can be used on so many Linux distributions. And um, voila, I've made some more AI generated content designs here, which are Pretty nice, but I have to open the door first. Voila, in the meantime, it's installed, right? Done, that's all you have to press here. And what you get is an operating system based on Arch, based on the remnants of Arconix. Some choices. And off you go. Wayland at some point will probably work haven't tried it yet on a virtual machine often it doesn't work Wayland depends right what desktop you're using but this is a very good desktop it's XFCE has been good for years 2021 is loading you're behind old N from Nico old N next one so a lot of wallpapers are coming in at this point in time, wallpaper selector. This one is a nice one. This one might be a nice one. Let's just have a look around. Those are all wallpapers coming from Wallhaven. 
Let's, uh, let's see what this is. Because it's a um, portrait and this landscape, we get this, right? And off we go. Well, let's take something soft for the eyes or even this one, softer for the eyes. Anyway, all right, mouse click, close. Here are some things you can have a look. Pamek is here in case you're wondering what that icon is. It's all designed the way I like it, created the way I see it. So an environment is one thing that somebody asked me on YouTube. Eric, I can't change the themes. It's defined for everywhere, anything in ETC environment. Arc, dawn, dark. So it's an arc theme, but it's uh, my arc theme, like 54 i themes that you can install. You can have, I'm not sure if I've installed them or anything. Normally not. So this is what we get. We get a pure arch, this. We get the Nemesis repo from Eric Dubois GitHub, and we get the Chaotic AOR from Garuda guys, right? So with that, you've got enough. So we're talking about the arc theme, and this is, here we are, right? All the Arclix arcs. So I should type Arco, let's do that again. I'm gonna kill you, voila. Pseudo Pacman minus S Arco Linux arc. These guys. Lots of arc things, all possibilities, and it ends with F, which means there's more to it. This time we're gonna do it fully. So I know exactly how many themes arc, and then tap tap. Uh, yeah, I think we're they're all there. It ends with W, warm pink. And those are all things, not this guy, right? But all the rest are all arc, the blue arc theme, but then with a crimson, which is red. Salmon, you can get it. Mantis, I think is green. And nice blue, etc., etc. right? So color, just a different kind of color. The accent that you see here is dawn. The blue is softer on the eyes. HD is being maintained. Yesterday I made a new version of it. Arch Linux Tweak Tool, it's there. Desktop, somewhat limited in the sense that we have less stuff here. But, um, well, not but, but you can also use scripts. Why use a GUI if scripts work, right? And one of the things is get Nemesis, it still exists. You get the scripts, data, Arclinks Nemesis, lots of things in here to do. Here are the Arclinks desktops, take a look. Awesome, BSP, awesome, BSP, Budgie, right, Cinnamon. They're all here and they're all to the left and all in the app. So choose, this one fails, use this one, if this one fails, use that one, right? It's just a matter of um, applications and scripts and all that. What else? make it nicer so we have already chat wm if you like to have awesome or i3 just run it run i3 it's just a script analyze scripts give it to a ai and ask him explain me each line what does this do what does that do right and that's it anything else i can explain so adding desktops designing um, you know already about an environment. Yes, we have the tools here. So we have here appearance, and here is the dawn dark icons, surf and arc at this point in time. Lots of surf and things, lots of sardi things, and my preference these days, the Neo Candy icons. Okay. This one is the default, right? nice in a file manager like Thunar. So that's it, All right? That's it for me. It's a test, Cairo is just working fine. If you install it with the latest system. Um, there's one more thing I maybe I could say, and that is get Cairo Nemesis, 
which is another set of scripts, smaller set of scripts. Chiron Nemesis is smaller, current choices, some design here, some text here, but some personal stuff in here and install. So something else to have a look. This is less, if you're beginning to learn bash scripting, this is less text, right? This is more um, understandable because there's less code. Simple as that. That's it. 200 lines of code. And this Cairo Nemesis scripts assumes you are on Cairo. This one assumes you are on so many things, anything Arch, but also anything Ubuntu, right? Anything Arch is all this. And anything Ubuntu and other guys on the Win Debian, Fedora, FreeBSD, Linux Mint, right? All those scripts, these scripts, the Arcanics Nemesis, go on any of those. Pepper, Mint OS, etc. Right? Void Linux, etc. But the Cairo Nemesis is really built just for the Cairo ISO. That's it for me. Enjoy Cairo, enjoy learning if you are planning on making and uh, your own distribution, just for you, your brother, your family, the world, right? It's all there. It's all stuff to learn. Cairo Nemesis is here, Cairo Dupes. Here's Cairo ISO, that's how we've built the ISO. The Calamaris configuration for the app, Calamaris. How to build things, the repo is here, and off you go. Build your own ISO. Cheers.